Hey guys, it's Brendo ST, and today I thought I'd go quickly and show you how to uh, set up your data logging for your access port. Now, a lot of tuners will have you do specific parameters in these so they can get the correct information for when they do a data log on your vehicle, and this is how to set it up if you do not know how. So what you want to do is you want to go into the gauges of your access port, and obviously if you haven't played with these, it's where you set all your gauges up and everything. Um, but what you want to do is go up here to setup, and there's a configure data log. When you go in there, each of these are a variable that you can log in a data log. I do not know specifically how many you're allowed to do, but I have set up what my tuner has asked of me so they would get the correct information for doing the tuning. Um, which is, this is through uh, Deadhook Motorsports. Uh, they wanted these specific ones, uh, that WGDC final, which I don't know what that is. Um, accelerator position, actual AFR, airflow mass, boost pressure, charge temp, it's all, it's all pretty uh, basic stuff, all the information that they want, but all of these are all different variables that you can actually log in a data log, um, just the ones that I'm using right now are just the ones, like I said, my uh, tuner wants me to use. Corrections, ignition corrections are a big one, those are basically, if it pulls timing, meaning you're detonating, uh, you'll get negative numbers in there. So that's a uh, that's a big one they use uh, when when doing this kind of stuff. And there's a lot of information you can log. Uh, like I said, I, I don't know how many you can actually do at a time, but there's a lot to choose from. What was that last one? Yeah. So there's a lot in there. Um, basically, you select the ones, so you hit the OK button, and then it turns green or whatever, and then you can go down and save, which is just that, that little button, and that's it. Suddenly, you may notice things look a little different, um, kind of a, a, a scene jump, if you will. My uh, phone actually ended up ringing while making that video, so this is the continuation. Now, what I was talking about with data logging, uh, we showed you how to set up the parameters, now the next thing I'm going to show you is how to actually log a, a, a run. Um, most tuners want you to do third or fourth gear pulls. Um, fourth gear is a little sketchy because you have to really get up there. Um, I don't. I drive a, a quick car, but I don't like driving like 100 plus miles per hour. That's just me. But to do a day log, when you're on the screen, uh, you hit your center button. You'll notice it starts blinking, and once the gauges pop back up, that's when you can safely log a run. I've noticed if I do it before those gauges pop up, I will get, I'll get an incomplete data. Like it'll it'll start at a higher RPM or something stupid like that. Uh, my tuner specifically, uh, Dead Hook Motorsports, requests uh, starting at 2,500 RPMs all the way up to Redline, and they want you to go right to Redline. When you hit that Redline, hit your button again, it'll save the data log. Now, if you have the access port software on your computer or whatever, you can pull it right off of this. Um, there's a couple websites I like to use. I, I'll send them a copy of the data, but I also like to see the data myself. Um, datazap.me is a really nice one. It gives you a nice uh, uh, graph and everything of all the data. And then you can also get that program called Virtual Dino, which I've heard some people say that it's pretty accurate, and I've heard other people say it's nowhere close. But it's also it's it's a nice little program to kind of give you an idea of what your uh, power is based on the data log. It'll it'll use all the information that you've given it, and that's it. So if you guys like this video, uh, give me a like, subscribe. I got more stuff coming. Um, you know, winter is a little slow. Um, so is money because Christmas just came by and everything. But tax season, car parts will be ordered. So I hope you guys enjoy your cars and as much as I do. And yeah, have fun with uh, the whole driving thing. It's just uh, don't speed in like police areas because it's dangerous. All right.
guys.